So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson. This book and the, its stories about internet shaming, it really shook me to the core. Before entering a plane to Africa, a woman sends a tweet with a joke, not a very tasteful joke, to her 170 or so followers on Twitter. And when she exits that plane, she's the most hated person alive. And people have gathered uh, on the airport just to see her rejection as she turns on the phone and to see the shitstorm she has unintentionally started. Two friends jokes about big dongles on the 10th row of a tech conference and the person in front of them doesn't appreciate the joke. She takes a picture of them, posts it online and within five minutes both guys are out of a job. That is the start of the shitstorm that is about to go down. To me, the most frightening part about online shaming is the speed of which it happens. How someone can go from living a normal life to being totally annihilated socially, professionally and privately. I'm gonna get you fired. I'm gonna rape you. Comments on social media and follows cultural and gender norms and like in this case, men are expected to be employed and the highest degradation of a woman is to be raped and it's a little bit unfair, right? Quote, what your first page on Google looks like determines what people think of you. Did you know that there are now companies that uh, offer reputation cleanups? It's kind of a service that fixes up your front page on Google after you've been publicly shamed, so that's that's pretty handy. Your explanation or apology will never, never get the same amount of attention as the original mistake or misjudgment. So forever alone. Almost funny. Quote, Facebook is where you lie to your friends and Twitter is where you tell the truth to strangers. So in this era of public shamings, uh, online shamings, maybe we are creating a more conservative and conformist age where quote we are defining the boundaries of normality by tearing apart people outside it because i have noticed in myself as i read this book that i'm becoming more and more careful how i express myself online and it it kind of sucks but the scary parts aside this book is actually really funny entertaining and if you're interested in internet culture then you can't really get go wrong with this one it felt like a very very timely read when i read it back in 2017 i think it was but i have a sense that it's still relevant where we are today